Uh, hi, Kyle Fighters. Fifi Fan here. Uh, bring you a deck list for the newest ride line for Starkia. And we have here Flagship Dragon, Flagberg Dragon. Um, so in this, I'll be going over my ride line, my great zeros, ones, twos, and threes. Um, I'll probably have another separate video for tips and tricks as far as like mulligans, uh, attack orders, uh, a more detailed uh, description of cards and how they work well with each other. So here we have our standard starter. Um, just like every other one of you, uh, one second that you draw a card. Have grade one on your first turn is this is vanilla, but when it's rolled upon uh, by your grade two of the right line, you call it to a rear guard. Um, if your Vanguard's Flagberg or Ascendance Assault, it gets plus 2k and uh, intercept so it's a 10k booster or attacker and it can intercept grade two um when you write your flag bird on top of this uh you're able to reveal an extra inroad shooter or your flag bird dragon from your hand and you may call it to a rear guard um, you can still call it, but if you uh, you can still call it if you don't have either of the two cards. But when you would call it, you also soul blast another card, so your soul will effectively be empty. Um, and you'd want to try to avoid that. Um, on the rear guard effect, uh, when your other rear guard attacks the vanguard, if your vanguard is flagship dragon, you can counter blast one and restand this unit. So this is a, a one of your restanders. It's really important. And then you have your grade three here, Flagbird Dragon. Um, it gets effect according to how many attacks you've made that turn. Um, you counter best one when it attacks. If you made three or more attacks, you draw a card. That's standard. You're normally going to be able to do that. Four or more, you choose two of your uh, two of your opponent's rear guards and they retire them. And then five or more, it gets plus 10k. And um, whenever your opponent will guard, they have to guard with at least three cards at the same time. <clears throat> Next we have great zeros. That triggers. We have our standard uh, four heels. Um, I don't know any deck that's not playing them. They hear you. Uh, you know, if you shuffle very well, you know, you probably hit all of them. Next, I'm running uh, four draws. Um, I've seen a lot of deck lists that have uh, either eight crits and three draws or seven crits and then four draws. Right now, I'm feeling the four draw. Mm, disclaimer, I'm not playing any fronts, even though you guys, uh, if you guys watch my other videos, you know I love fronts. But they just don't work very well with Flagberg. Um, you can still try them; they're really good for defense. But because you don't really have those, and they're you know your opponents are hitting for very high numbers, hand is very important. You already get a card from Flagberg, and you get your so it's like three cards a turn. This just helps you have extra hand and draw into pieces. I prefer the four draw engine rather than the three. Next up. We have the new crit triggers here. This is Aspiring Maiden Alania. Alana. Aspiring Maiden Alana. Um, this is the new crit. Uh, I believe Every Nation got one of these crits here. Um, you can use it to boost and then put it into the soul and give another unit plus 2k. Not really good for making numbers, but it's good for soul. Um, I believe every ride line. And Soikea has a problem with Soul, so this is just an amazing card. Um, so I have four of these. I have three of the Silver Horn Beast Jackalope. Um, just another standard crit. You know, help push damage early on. Mm, not much to say. And then one of the Soikea Over Trigger Bless over here. Um, it heals you, it you know, draws your cards, it's effectively a front, um, gives you extra crit. Best uh, over, over trick in the game. Next 
Next we have your great ones. We have uh, four of the perfect guard that we um, that every nation has. Now this one I don't. Um, this one is not the perfect guard where you can use if you only have one card in hand. I do have that card, and um, it is in one of my other decks. If you saw my video, you know I have it. Um, it's, it's in one of my other decks, but um, this is just a proxy for that. If you have that card, it's best to run that card. Um, it's better defensively, but if you don't have to run that card, obviously this is still good as well. Um, whenever I'm in matches, I just have this proxy, or you know, if I ever like do an official match, I'll just switch these out for the ones that I have. Next, we have a high rate burst dragon. Um, I have four of these. I've seen some lists run three of these. Um, I just really don't agree. This card uh, is effectively a restander if you don't have one of the other cards that restand itself. Um, I always want to have access to this card. Um, when I am using my when I am doing my mulligan, this is not really really important at the time. But like late game, this is an amazing card. Um, like, like I said, if you don't have a restander, this makes a restander, and if you do if you do have a restander, this makes an extra attack. So it says when this unit is placed on rear guard, and your vanguard is a flagbird dragon. Choose another rear guard, and it, until the end, it gets it gets this effect. When a unit attacks, if it's the first battle of the turn, you can counter blast one, soul blast one, and then stand it. So it just restands uh, the unit. Like I said, some people were playing three. I just don't see that as an option. I think this is definitely a four of. Next, uh, we have Prize Trident. Um, this is another thing that I thought was kind of weird. I see people wearing three of these as well, and I just don't agree with this. Um, there are like two main problems with this deck, or three problems. One is counter charge. You don't really have a counter charge engine in this other than this card. Two is a uh, soul. And then three is power. So this doesn't offer power, but this counter charges and it uh, gives you soul soul is super important in this deck and so is your kind of blast so this i don't see any other way to run this other than four and then i have uh three spiritual body condensation mm -hmm. this is just effectively a copy of every other card in your deck. So this can be uh, Ascendance, this can be uh, another one of your grade twos, uh, it can be this, it can be, you know, this, it just helps you bring that back from the drop zone and to be able to use it and it gets plus five, uh, for plus five K. Uh, you play this with Soul Best One, choose a grade equal to or less than your Vanguard from a drop, call it to R and it gets plus five K. So not only does it help with uh, power, um, it effectively brings back a unit. And uh, if your opponent is smart, then they'll probably be, they'll, try, they'll probably try to snipe the units that restand. And this is just your answer to that. Um, I don't see anybody, I don't see very many people play this, but I, I don't understand why. Um, once all your restanders are gone, that's your game plan is just out the window. Why why wouldn't you play this? Um, Normally with orders, I don't really, like, even if it's like blitz orders, maybe I'll play more on blitz orders. But normally with orders, I try to cut down on orders just because they have no shield and you can only use one per turn, Other, you know, unless you're playing um, uh, Zorga. You can only play once per turn. So, you know, playing any more than two would, like, clog your, clog your hand and make it uh, impossible to guard. Um, but this is uh, an exception. Because it's like I said, this is effectively a copy of you know, any other card. Um, and my tips and tricks, I'll go over this more as well. It's a great two. Uh, this is Aggress Blue Dragon. Um, 
At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a rear guard. Your in your Vanguard is flagship uh, flagbird dragon. You can soul blast one and restand. So not only does this like uh, use your soul, it restands. Um, this is the only other restander that you have um, in this deck. So it's just super important. You can't run this anymore. You can't run this any less than four. Um, you know, even if they attack into it, you have that great one that effectively makes you know it. Uh, make you have more than four of these basically um you can't run any more than any less than four because you need restanders uh next is uh three more of your uh grade two on your right line this is a sentence assault told you what it does it's effectively another restander in the deck uh, you can't play this card anymore, any less than four. Next, I have uh, three uh, Silverhorn Beast Eclio. This is a really controversial card. I, I run this in my um, Magnolia build as well. And um, I don't really see anybody play this. Um, another option is uh, at Mantis. I see a lot more people play that card, but... I feel like when I'm trying to push for damage, especially with my restanders, I, I want to give more than one unit plus 5k. I want to have like my restanders be able to hit on their own, hit the vanguard on their own. Um, at Mantis, like I said, it gives, I, I guess it stays on the field because you have to retire this. So it gives you an AK body and it gives like plus 5k, but I'd rather just give plus 5k to my restanders so they can, like I said, so they can hit the vanguard unboosted. Um, and as far as like great ones, like you, you draw quite a bit in this deck, so you'll never just not have a great one. Um, so, you know, this opens up a spot, you know, use it, opens up a spot and you can, you know, just play a boost right behind it. Well, after you retired it. And then I have, um, two blooming petal, uh, Karyophilus. Like I said, this deck has uh, two main problems. One being power, which just gives, and then your uh, great one order gives you plus 5k. And then you have soul. Quite a lot of things in this deck use soul. You have soul for this one, and you have soul for the great one. You have soul for you know spiritual body condensation. Um, you might have to use the soul for this great two. So soul is really important. Um, Trident gives you soul, and uh, the critical trigger gives you soul as well. But even with that stuff, I just felt like I was just really running out of soul. Because um, you want to have it during your main phase. Like the 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 trident and the, the trident and the critical trigger are only like after you had your battle, or after, you know, during battle time or during battle phase. So this is good, you know, before a battle phase when you're using your effects, um, when you need to have them for, you know, your restanders and stuff like that. So, you know, like I said, the weakness, you have power, which we cover with this. And then we have soul, which we cover with this. Um, I see some people just cut this out altogether. Um, I don't agree. This is just, uh, I, just a blessing and a help, you know, because, you know, you, you can run out of soul really fast and just have nothing. You can use this on your grade two turn um, if you, you know you use this ascendant as assault and you just have no soul and you can discard with it and then so you'll open up a a rear guard for your aggress or another ascendant. And then last but not least, I have uh, three of three more of the, my persona right here. It's your persona right. You have to have them, and you know what already, you already know what it does. Um, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for my tips and tricks video. I'll go over mulligans. You know, go in depth on cards and how they work with each other. Maybe do like a test hand. You know, some mulligans stuff like that for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.